in, puts me in a good, good mood. Back, I like food. Oh, I love the mac and cheese. And it now belongs to me. Give me all your mac and cheese. Because it all belongs to me. Loves to me. Loves to me. All your mac and cheese. Hell yeah. Big Back boy like season 2019 uh, begin. I remember when food made me happy instead of guilt. Uh, so get out of that rut right now, buddy. Well, I just thought about what if I just never stopped cutting? Uh, that's you'll bleed out eventually. I mean, you have oh to let the God. you have to let them cauterize or something. You, oh you can't just. I'm not a fucking hot topic girl. I'm not a fucking hot topic girl. I'm talking about shedding those LBS, dude. That's no, you're ro- Listen. Joe Rogan has sober October. I'm starting. Don't stop gorging October. October. Oh God. Okay, and it's fucking calorie city. Pop Tarber. You just got me. <laughs> Pop Toaster. 2019. It's fucking never starting. Never stop popping. Never stop popping. No. Always never stop popping pop an octop octopper. Uh-huh. Yeah, you gotta be popping that popcorn. You gotta be popping those tarts. That 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 uh, they yeah, had the movie theater butter. Uh, of course, movie Pop-t- theater I, butter. Put caramel on top of that. I did literally buy pop tarts just hours ago. I already ate a package of them. Which uh, which flavor you got? I got brown sugar, cinnamon. Oh, uh, classic. And uh, strawberry, classic. frosted strawberry. Our high school. I butter my pop tarts, and some people think that's crazy, uh, but you have to do that. Because for the pa- big boy season. Well, for big boy season, and also because the pastry is too too dry, and you need some so butter. Dry. They're so good with butter. It's, yeah. it's like a thousand times better. Um, and uh, and I'm I'm I've decided the theme of this year's big boy season is going to be malt. It's going to be all <laughs> malt flavored, all those dark toasty, uh, cereal grain flavors. Mm. And welcome. This is our autumn cereal grain analysis <laughs> impressions 2019. We're going to review. All the major cereal grains from the world. We're gonna do wheat. We're gonna do rye. Barley's in there. We're gonna I do gonna rice. Ask. Rice, maize. We're even fucking sorghum. Sorghum underdog. Uh, You're invited to the party. But he's in I mean, here. Kinda We're tossing like the him in the mix, girl. baby. Ugly it's duckling. Like the ugly girl, but yeah. you give it a good. You pretty it up a little bit, and it's the bell of the ball, baby. Sorghum. Sorghum. Sorghum could you lose a few pounds. Yep. S- Hair could use some work, but uh, we, we she's got a good heart. Yeah, we don't talk about her movie anymore because her syrup is delicious. But um, I love her syrup. Uh, it's, it's like maple syrup, I've heard. But uh, somebody, very good. somebody killed my car. Oh no! <laughs> Was it Joaquin <laughs> Phoenix? He j- no. I just saw Joaquin Phoenix just like rammed a, an ambulance or something in his car, oh. and it's like, oh shit, he's still rising up. He can't get out of character. He's committed <laughs> to the chaos. Yeah, yeah, he's all the way in. I was out of town shooting a wedding because I'm a jet setter. Yeah. And uh, I got back to town. And I'm like, oh shoot, I need to go get groceries, and I go to my car. Uh, which is parked in the street because that's what you do where I live. And somebody fucking ran into it. Just like and, T-boned it or just kind of grazed the side? No, they 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 dinged my bumper butt good. Um, mm. So I've got an insurance claim in. The thing's still drivable. So here's what's going to happen. Geico is of the belief that I'm going to use the money that they're giving me to repair my vehicle. Oh, oh you're instead, going this route. That's good. I'm going to use my money to buy a new computer. Nice. You're not the only one with the money for a computer now, big boy. Hell yeah! Also, they just you. I'm 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 uh, betting on, <laughs> I'm betting on serious political events and profiting off of probably the misery of many people. And you are doing fraud. <laughs> this is rules. We're yeah, the best. <laughs> yeah. Here, here we were doing like you know small crimes before, but now we're doing white collar crime. Yeah, this this po- this better. this podcast started out with us underage drinking and now we're doing Geico fraud. <laughs> <laughs> we're Can we're we de- pot- we're deceiving the lizard. When are we going to get our Ponzi scheme going? Uh I oh. mean, can you uh, yeah, it's you could start a Ponzi Ponzi scheme with two people, right? Sure. I mean, it just depends on who's getting fucked. Not us, we're at the top. That's you need to start the Damn right. 
Damn right. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna build a new computer. We were discussing how you were gonna buy. I was having thoughts about a computer, but then I kind of fixed my lagging, crashing problem. I think it was Windows backup was fucking up because my disk was full. So now it seems okay. So now I'm like, eh, maybe, maybe uh, there are some hot Black Friday deals. I feel like you upgraded pretty recently, but uh, maybe not. I don't know. 2016, dog. Oh wow. Yeah, I'm gonna buy an i9. Getting one Holy of shit. Workstation. Yeah, well, I mean, you do actually encode shit, so that makes sense for you. Oh, yeah. Con that's all I do now. I just did a, a pretty graphics-intensive project, and it was the worst yeah, moment maybe, of my life. Yeah, maybe, would you, like, you might even want to keep your current machine and just use that as a fucking, as, like, a encoding machine, just so you can, like, export it to there and then just go to sleep. Well, yeah. what also, what they're also doing is uh, uh, they're dropping the price of the Xeon processors. So yeah. like, you know, like you can get 12 cores now or like, I think like 16 cores for around a G and I think I'm going to go that route. Maybe. Nice. Nice. Uh, it's not sexy in like my gaming numbers won't be really great, but my quality of life will be significantly yeah. improved. You should just like over the course of a few years, buy like 18 Mac minis off of Craigslist and <laughs> put them into a cluster. And, oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> And uh, to just do cyber crime, just just, just 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 destroy my electricity bill. Just DDoS CIA dot gov with your Mac uh, Mini cluster. Yeah, me, me and, you're gonna you're gonna see posters with uh, Edward Snowden, fucking Julian Assange, and me, baby. <laughs> Whistleblowers. Yeah. Um. Oh, and and okay. To top off my my cereal grain mini arc here i do have a drink here that i wanted to talk about because i was browsing i was bored at work today i was browsing through the beverages on my grocery store app because uh, i was just i just searched the word malt i wanted i was seeing like what kind of malt liquor they got what other malt flavored things i did buy malted milk powdered oh, God. um but i also found this drink it's called um the drink itself is called a malta and this particular one is called a Malta Goya because the brand is Goya. And it is apparently just beer before it's fermented, basically. So it's like bar sweet barley water with hops. And it's super like syrupy and sweet and dark. It's been described. I have not tried it yet. I have it open right here. It has been, it has been described as liquid mol or, uh, drinkable molasses. Nice. Um, I was looking on the CK archives for a while of people talking about it. They described it as uh, drinking, uh, they described it as uh, carbonated prune juice, which first of all, that's Dr. Pepper. Uh, I doubt it's Dr. Pepper. Wait, They've described no, it as drinking raw meat, uh, drinking refried beans. What the fuck? Um, but mostly they just say it's molasses. They just call it. This is an like enigma. This, this, is, this could be anything. It's I know. Um, so, but apparently this is one of those drinks that, um, I'm very interested in because it has like a cult following where most people fucking hate it. And the people who really like it are like 60 and they're like, I drank this as a kid. Um, between sips of sarsaparilla, I take nips of my daddy's Malta. Mm, uh, uh, but apparently, I, I have to say, apparently the before, only reason, oh, go ahead. Before you go too far, I did type a Malta. Thinking you, uh, thinking it was not just Malta. I thought oh, it was a Malta. Yeah. And it turns out a Malta is the quote unquote golden shower tree. No, don't. Uh, <laughs> we don't need that here. This is a family program. Thank you, Mage, for the gigantic cat you texted us. Um. So apparently, the only reason this even gets sold or made anymore is because in third world countries where alcohol is illegal, uh, you can just buy this and add yeast to it, and it becomes a shitty beer. So, um, but I'm just gonna, oh, and also what they do is they, um, so I have like half of it just by itself in the can. And I also have it a way people drink it, which is over ice with sweetened condensed milk, even sweeter. Oh my God. Um, so I'm just going to try it out the bottle here real quick. It does just sort of smell like a slightly bitter molasses. All right, here I go. That's pretty good. Oh, you like it? I don't taste the hops, but yeah, it's like uh maybe I do. Yeah, it's like a it's like a watery malty. Yeah, I get it. It is slightly fruity like prunes or something. 
Nice, dude. Hmm. Okay. That's a W. That's a W, man. I'm I'm, I'm sipping the complete opposite end of the spectrum. I'm gonna try here. the milky one with the ice. Hold on. While you're trying that, I'm gonna I'm gonna. Ooh. Change my tan quick. That's delicious. All right, Malta approved. It's just really fucking sweet when you put the condensed milk in it. It's like a root beer float. You know how the ice cream mixes with the root beer? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. All right. Malt season's off to a good start. What were you going to talk about? Uh, I, I've got the complete opposite here. I've got one of those hip and popular hard seltzers. Ooh. Which is just vodka in, in sparkling water, basically. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, I'm, skinny boy season never ends. Uh, we're, we're, we're hard cutting all day. Uh, David is has started joining me at the gym, uh, and he was talking mad game because he's a he's a bicycle messenger that mm. he was gonna absolutely smoke me on leg day. Uh oh! And lo and fucking behold, I worked his ass. He had no idea oh what he was doing. Oh my god! No, he's uh, so yeah. I've got a workout buddy now, which is nice because I haven't been able to like go really hard for a while. Because I just, you know, I've like, I don't have a spotter or anything, but now I've got a dude I could force to spot me. My power has grown too strong. That's correct. Yeah, next time you see me, I'm going to be a meat cloud. Just a beefy, beefy boy. <sighs> Beef ghost. Yeah. Hey, Mage, I do uh, know that's Tippy. I don't know what I called it, but I am aware. Yes, thank you. A, bi a big kitty. Tippy's a, oh, Tippy's a bunny, right. Okay, I forgot. Sorry. We got to get to anime. Yeah, we should probably get to anime. I guess we got a lot, a lot to cover folks um yeah it is autumn 2019 fall anime we are doing anime i was just kidding about the serial thing <laughs> um yeah this season uh started out with i did not make you watch uh the first show which i'll get through quickly which is the basketball show um and uh it's called ahiro no ahiru no sora was this one of those mangas? It is a manga. It is a bas has been, Basuke this has been done manga. Before as well, right? Like they did an adaptation of this already. What? I don't think so. No. Mm, well, unless it had no, a different I, name. No, you're right. This is the first adaptation. No. Yeah, I know that's. I, they all look the same. To you me. thought it was a reboot of a different basketball show? It's not like they're running out of basketball manga. Um. So it's. Ooh. Did you post something? Look at his fucking face. Basketball manga all look fucked up. Yeah, his face is <laughs> weird. It's bad. Anybody could make one. Yeah, uh, fucking apparently. Uh, Dio Media. Um, my notes say, ready to, to have fun. Smiley face. Um, so, uh, right off the bat, it's like, oh, he's short. I get it. The very first scene of this show is a ripoff of the... Five ambulances scene from Bleach. It's him under a bridge, and he's being surrounded by a bunch of dudes who are going to beat him up. And then he acts very confident, which surprises them. Except instead of like in Bleach, he gets the shit kicked out of him, which is a bit of a twist. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It's he meets this Genki uh, Afro guy. Dialogue is not great. Character design is not great, as you see from that promo mm. image. Um. The opening is by the pillows, <laughs> which what? I'm fucking offended by. Uh, I'll never forgive it. Horrified. Uh, it's like a very average, very chill pillow song. And, um, oh, the main guy's name is Sora. I get it. Uh, everyone has like a duck face. And uh, the main conflict is like with the basketball team. They're all delinquents they don't care about basketball they just joined the club because they have to but they just cause trouble um but you gotta have an enforcer on the basketball team yeah you have to lay down the law uh and um he gets in a like a basketball fight with him and he's very good at basketball it turns out um he's 410 they give his centimeters oh i converted Jesus it Jesus Christ! yeah <laughs> what? That's like, that's like I have an aunt from who who was born in Guatemala. Like, she could she could dunk on this guy. What the fuck? Not even close. You know, you know what's some good sport for you? Gymnastics. Don't <laughs> jockeying. Yeah, don't fuck Yeah, in. exactly. You could be a world class jockey. Oh my god. Disc jockey. Not even a fucking 
couldn't have even picked a worse sport. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about a square peg in a fucking round hole. And I, I knew he was gonna have, he was gonna be short, but he's gonna have a jump that everyone goes, oh, you know, and watches him jump. Yeah, but even if, he, even if he jumped his height, he jumps up to five, like, five. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, he gets pantsed. Um, it's uh, and the there's a girls basketball team, you know. I've found that I can find appeal in pretty much anything female-wise, but basketball uniform, it might be the one thing I can't get into. Pretty baggy. There's nothing going on there. Yeah, not, nothing too sensuous there. Um, so uh, they, they settle it with basketball, and he's good at it. And uh, there's a shot of a literal duck. Oh, I should probably be showing images from the show. I'm already fucking this up. Uh, where are we? That there Malta's go. got you turned, dude. It's not alcoholic. It's the vodka that's got me turned. Uh, um, you gotta ferment it. I could, but I'm not gonna. Oh, that's, those are good pictures. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, I, I accidentally switched to Saba for a hot second. Seconds. I was pretty involved. But they they compare. You know how like they when a guy in a sports anime is doing something, they'll like flash to like a shot of an animal to compare him. But it's, a, right. but it's a duck underwater. <laughs> I don't get how that applies to basketball. But uh, I don't know, man. I'm not on play, so I wouldn't know. Um, yeah, it's he's like a shitty Toma, basically. Doesn't punch anybody, though. He does not punch anybody. He gets punched, I'm looking at this duck, and I have to respect the duck's hustle. I mean, it's a cool-looking duck. I'm just confused, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, let's do a show you watched. Which is the furry show? I made you watch the furry show. Yeah. And I regret nothing. Um, it's fucking it. That makes two of us, bro. The uh, Hataage Kemono Michi, actual English title, Kemono Michi Rise Up. <laughs> Gamers. Um, yeah, this looks like some fucking anime. Another manga. An anime for us gamers. Another manga um, adaptation by Engi. This is basically their first thing. Um, it's about this luchador or something. Uh, he likes animals, I guess. A lot. Too much, apparently, according to the announcer at his wrestling event. One of my first notes is, don't tell me, don't tell me this is a wrestler that gets isekai'd or something. <laughs> and then my note after that is, oh my fucking god. Oh yeah. <laughs> They did it. Just unreal. What were you expecting? Uh, what, why like, would it be any... The, the odds are in the favor of it being Isekai basically any time you start a show now. Yeah, like, but I, I just really didn't expect... I, I would have expected fucking Ahiro no Sora to go Isekai more than a wrestling show. Tiger Mask was successful. Why did they do... Why? Mm. But uh, yeah, it's, he's a wrestler who gets isekai and... He, you know, it's supposed to be like a parody, I guess, but all isekais kind of hide their inadequacies by sort of uh, presenting as parody. You gotta lampshade that shit, son. Yeah, so he immediately gropes the princess that he meets. Well, he doesn't grope, he German suplexes her. He does that too. I did enjoy the German suplex. Yes. I, I'm a simple so man. So many fucking suplexes this season, holy shit. I'm a simple man. I see somebody get slammed headfirst into the ground really hard yeah. in a ridiculous manner. Mm -hmm. I'm into it. Yep. Um, and then we see her panties. And then he just runs away. Um, he's a very. We see her panties a lot. They cut yeah. back to it like four or five times. And mm -hmm. it's like, it's the same shot every time. And it's not any more scintillating. Scintillating? Yeah. I mean, titillating? Scintillating's a thing. Oh. Does that mean the same thing as titillating? Uh, That's bullshit, dude. You shouldn't have multiple words for one thing. Get a purse would be scintillating. Oh, no, never mind. That's a different word. Gotcha, bitch. All right. Um, yeah, he's a very barrel-chested man, very wrestler-looking. And his name is Kimono Mask which means animal mask. And he wears a choker for some reason. But uh, there's a dog girl. There's a wolf man who takes a shower. 
Um, he he just like absolutely he's a sex pervert. I think the most important which part one? of the uh the animal mask. Yeah. Animal mask is a sex pervert. A little and, bit. And, and like yeah. everybody else realizes it, you know, and like I don't even believe him. Like he, he it's clear he tries to make it clear that his intention is to only to love animals. But it's very clear to me that he's like a sex monster who's getting off on this. Well, he doesn't want to fuck the animals. No, I don't believe him. I think he does. Oh, okay. I, I think he does actually want to fuck the animals. He's yeah. just too into it, man. Like, like I like dogs, you know, and I'll pet a dog pretty hard. But, but if will I like fuck a dog, one? Man, no. He, well, this thing, like, he's like really groping this dog, man, pretty hard. He's in like the crevices. He also didn't, there's no permission. Like, obviously, this dog, man, is a sentient being. But he's just taking full advantage of him using his superior strength and size. The final arc of this show is Kimono Mask sticking his hands in dry ice so we can get paws. So we can get them <laughs> amputated and get paws. <laughs> Animal hands. I'm, I have, I, I'm one of you now. He's crawling around in all fours. Yeah. Hey, there's, a, there's, there's different. I like the animal girls, though. Yeah. That's a good thing. Sure. I like it when there are girls that have ears that are, you know, animal ears. Mm -hmm. Whether they be cat or fox. There's a show that's a little bit better for that later, but I get I get you. Yeah, he does yeah. German um, suplex a second person. I don't remember who. Um I got enjoyment just out of like how over the top he is and how he just totally invades people's personal space i like that element of it it's like he's he's just a, a sociopath he he has to fulfill his singular desire which is to to touch people and animals uh the one this is supposed to be a comedy but really the one bit that only entertained me was the bit that he's trying to save this girl from like a loan she defaulted on and he's trying to right. figure out how exploitative like the loan is and she keeps reinforcing that it was actually very reasonable and uh, I was like, okay, I guess that's a decent bit, I guess. Uh, and then he fights some Cer uh, Cerberuses, mm -hmm. um, and that's pretty bad. Uh, it was, I don't know. There, I've written ant. He smell, he smell, I've written ant he gang. He smells his butthole. He 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 smells his own butthole. Like, no, he like he he pins one of the Cerberuses, and he's just catching a big old whiff of his butthole. <laughs> I don't know if you caught this. I don't. I barely remember watching this. I just didn't really like it. No, he's he's got one of the services pinned, and I think he's trying to like establish alpha male dominance by just really huffing that fucking b hole, dude. I don't know like, if that's how you establish dominance in the dog world. I could be wrong, but uh, I think you have to yes, piss somewhere. You, you you do a. I you, you're about to mention the ant, which was the joke that I found funny in this episode. Ant gang, I I. I have no memory. As soon as you wow. explain it, I'm going to remember, but I can't. Uh, it's so there, been a while. There's a team of three now. The team of three being the, the uh, uh, animal mask, his little dog buddy, who is cute, and then uh, the cat girl who defaulted on her loan. Mm -hmm. And then he's like, yes, and with, with, this, with, our, with my puppy, that makes four. And she's like, four? And then the camera pulls out, and there's like this, this, this giant ant sitting at the table with them. Okay. <laughs> which, which, which was pretty good. I thought it was a good sight gag. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. Because uh, giant ants are horrible. Good taste, me. That, that is a funny bit. Yep. Um, yeah, I just didn't think that, like, the writing and the timing and pacing, like, weren't there to make up for the terrible animation. I mean, the show just looks like shit. And it's just not very grabbing. I don't know. It doesn't really stick any of the things that you would want. Except for the part where he gropes, gropes people. That I like. Sure. It's better than him not groping people. Fuck, it if could be worse. didn't have groping, I would be like, damn. I'd, I'd be like, damn. Yeah. Fuck this. Um, yes, sir. All right. Moving on. You also watched uh, Kono, Kono Yusha. Yes. This hero is uh, too careful or something. <laughs> oh, English title. Here, I have it. Cautious hero, colon. The hero is overpowered, but overly cautious. <laughs> it's just the whole oh, premise. <laughs> oh, oh. This is like, uh, oh, man. 
This seems like a bit we'd throw out when we're like. This proposing. is a tweet. This is like yeah, not yeah. a fucking goddamn show. An entire series. Ugh. Yeah, and like even like like okay, you can get me for an eight minute short. Yeah. But damn, you expect twelve episodes at twenty four minutes a piece? Where every joke is this the title. Yeah, yeah. Um but uh it is another Isekai. Uh it's a light novel adaptation by White Foxu. Um there's a yeah, so there's some kind of hunger games competition thing. And um the main character's name is Uiharu. She's voiced by uh Yui from Kaon and Medaka and Chitose from Yuri Yuri. And uh, there's, uh, I've written Isekai Meta. So again, it's more lampshading, I assume. They're really trying to distance themselves. Being We're not generic. like those other Isekai parody shows. Yeah. Uh, Which is the only form of Isekai that exists right now, it seems. Yeah, it's not like it there's any like straightforward Isekai. Like they all, pres- like they're all supposed to be like, like this one. He's way too overpowered, so it's just chill. And in this one, he's cheating. And in this one, he's fucking cautious. Um. So they they summoned this Japanese boy, and they uh, she picks out a really really good one seemingly, because he's he's Chokuru. And at first, this guy doesn't even seem like a character, even though he's like the main character. But he's very sparsely designed and barely characterized. He's got like a white t-shirt. <laughs> he's just And he's like they him. don't there's no presentation like he, like I felt like he was going to get killed any second as a as a gag. You know, like this is the first yeah, guy yeah. she summoned. And then he goes and then we meet the real guy, but no, this is right. just the guy it turns out. Um and um and cautious also I don't think is a good English translation for this guy. Because he's not cautious. He's, like, generically cool. I think the correct word would be, like, heedful or prepared or something. <laughs> he's not cautious. He's not, like, a fucking scaredy pants. Yeah, he's, he's like, really... Bullets over, he's over methodical. Yeah, yeah. He's not heedful. cautious. I couldn't think... Of, I, yeah, I was, it was not an easy word, but it's, like, he's not just cautious. Cautious is what your mom is. When she texts yeah, yeah, you to be careful, sure you wear a helmet. like when your mom texts you to be careful driving because it's really windy today, that's cautious. Yeah. Not uh, doing, just really meticulously planning for raids. I think I don't know. No, I agree. Um, I agree. and uh, so there's an opening by Mythenroid. Very inconsistent with their openings. I didn't think this one was great. Shikspaku, I've written. I did like that. Someone, yeah, so she, she, she uses a lot of English. Yeah. She's drooling over him, and her mouth is full of drool. So she's kind of like talking through the drool, like Shikspaku, <laughs> uh, which, was, which was indeed funny. I actually, I did find all of the humor in this show to me came from the, the, the goddess, who's like, you know, she's not the most interesting character ever, but I thought she got some good bits. She's in a situation that she's completely unprepared for. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, and her voice actress, Ak- Aki Toyasaki, is fucking putting in work trying to make this funny. And mm. she, it's her, yeah, her, her performance is really just the only good part of this show. Agreed. Um, uh, slime murder, uh, she does a lot of Tsukomiing. Extremely thick boss. <laughs> I've written. Oh yes, yes, this is also true. They fight a monster who is stacked out of this world to the point where she can't stand up straight, like like she's being pulled down by the gravity of her honkers. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and co- like constantly contorting to pop her booty as much as possible. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's a uh, 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 yeah, it's tiresome. I would say. I think this is a tiresome show. Exactly. Yeah. I I re- I. I I jotted down that I wanted to smoke a ton of DMT to escape this show. <laughs> I can't say that for any other any other of these. For some reason, this show in particular made me think, "Damn, I really want to fucking get blasted and and yeah. shoot out the wormhole." <laughs> you got to go to talk to the machine elves about this shit. I need to fucking 
The machine elves will help me through this. No, you know what? The machine elves would be pissed that you made them watch this. They'd be like, "What the fuck? Why did you waste? You have you have limited time, man. Why are you doing this?" I'd be like, "Damn, <laughs> that's, that's deep. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking crazy, man." Um, I'll do this one quick. You did not watch Honzuki no Gekko Kujo. Nice. Shisho ni naru tame ni washu dan wo eran de iramasen. The protagonist looks cute. You know what I'm saying? Ascendance of a bookworm. <laughs> uh, light novel. Oh, Ag Agiado. Studio Agiado. The Genshiken OAV. Isekai Mao. Kujibiki Unbalance. The Magic Treehouse movie. <laughs> Um, there's, it starts out with a lolly drinking rot wine, I guess. I don't remember that. But, um, basically the plot is there's this Japanese girl who's a book nerd and she gets reincarnated as this little girl in fantasy, uh, medieval sort of times. And, uh... And she wakes up, and it's like a hard reincarnation where she, like, she just and she just like wakes up in a ten year old girl, and she has like both sets of memories, I guess. So it's like she died and immediately woke up oh, as this girl. That's tough to deal with. Yeah, um, but I then wanna, that's that's really makes you think. Even huh? though she supposedly has the memories, she forgets a ton of shit. So, also, by the way, this is basically an easy guy too. I'm gonna count this one. Fucking hell. Um, yep. So, uh, the problem with this isekai is there's no book. No books. Which, well, you know, how bad is that really? That's kind of ideal. Look, man, I, if, you, if you take a poll of the population of the world right now, I would say at least 98% of them, there's no books. We could so do with, we, yeah, plus. we could do without books. Um, so I don't know why she didn't know that there's no books. I thought she had the girl's memories now, like I said, but, uh, um, but it's just sort of like a, you know, it's, it's not like a slice of life because she is looking for books. So there's sort of like a goal, but I don't know who the audience for this is. It's like, I don't know if people will just gob gobble up isekai so ravenously that even <laughs> the plot of girl who likes books gets isekai sells copies. Um, like a more interesting angle would be like for her not to get the memories and language and like her mom just starts hearing her speaking in tongues and she has to, I don't know. Um, you see, that's the thing is that like, if you're going to get, if at this point, if you're doing a psychi, you need to take it as far as it can possibly go where you literally take somebody and put them in another world and they have zero skills to deal with it whatsoever and they're just effectively a crazy person because who's going to believe them when they say, I've been transported here from another world? You know, like, mm -hmm. like, because we got people like that in our world, you know, like those motherfuckers that, like, like, oh, yeah, I, I went to the moon with President Obama and I'm true, from the true. future. Yeah. And like, um, really, really get into it. You know, mm -hmm. go, go obsessive with it because we've just. Or you, make them so overpowered that it just becomes a sandbox fun game time, like slime. But then you, but then you get to have a moral discussion of, it's like okay, so you're just trampling over this world as if you're a god. What do you, is, what are you supposed to do with this power? You fucking build sheds and amaze everyone with your Jesus powers. There you go. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. That's, oh, that's Jesus what slime is. Isekai. That's no, that's oh. that's literally what that's what uh, the slime show is. That's there was another one recently I started that that he was basically oh. Jesus. Uh yeah, don't no, that's, like a, that's like a that's like a subgenre of isekai. Just don't do books. This show isn't even bad though. Like she's cute. All her reactions are really exasperated because she fucking wants books so goddamn bad. Um, the I don't know if the world is supposed to be as boring and bleak as possible, but it's like a city, but all of the buildings are like gray wooden townhouses, and they're all six stories tall, and it's like extremely depressing looking. No art in this world, huh? No. Um. In one random shot, they're all colorful, which I don't know if that's a mistake or what the fuck's going on. Um, and uh, so she looks around for books while her mom is like shopping in the market. And she does find one book, but it's before the printing press. So it's like behind glass and she's not allowed to touch it. Um, and uh, 
It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of cute, but it's just, it's like, it's just like, why? So, that's a weird one. I, I do like her, her smug fucking face in this promo art. <laughs> the, this, yeah, I think I had a, I thought it's, yeah, I have a funny it's smug. It's like, oh, you got a have, look, huh? This is one of my favorite faces, because it's so subtly smug <laughs> I have on the screen now. You think you're better than me? Uh, you think you're better than me because you got a book? You fucking, you fucking clocks wearing, or what, what are those shoes called? Glock? <laughs> Clog, nah, clogs. Clogs, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you fucking Dutch. And, fuck. you can, and you can see all the houses there. It's like Attack on Titan or something. They also have walls, yeah. too. I don't know what the walls are protecting them from. City. I wonder if she's going to get chomped. This is going to take a grim, dark turn. Look at Oh, yeah, she she's like not the, the real main she character. She looks like the, the Hong Kong girl. Uh, <laughs> Chen. <laughs> 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 judging me because i can't read no reading <laughs> a home, home alone on a friday night podcasting god you're so pathetic <laughs> oh lord oh that's great <laughs> um Fuck. oh god okay uh all right let's fucking go you watched ore suki i sure did uh fuck yes so Ore wo suki na no wa omai dake kayo. Shorten to ore suki. Are you the only one who loves me? Sad, <laughs> sad, sad emoji. Te text to my mom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is uh, this is a light novel written by some guy and. And illustrated by the Dempa Ona and the Haganai guy. The studio is Studio Connect. They did oh. they did Senryu Shoujo, rom com of the year twenty nineteen, by the way. And Strike the Blood and nothing else. Um I was making fun of this show because the summary is Question, what would you do if a girl you're interested in would confess to you? On top of that, what if there was another girl as well? Which I never in a fucking million years would have guessed was a fake out. <laughs> oh, boy. But it was a total fake out. Um, oh, wait. Senryo Sojo, is, that's, that's my special girl. That, that's, show, that's my... that show was really good. Oh, my God. That's my special girl. Her words are of the angels. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No, that, that show was really funny and cute. Anyway, back to this other show. Um, yeah, this show it starts out with like a flash forward with Emergence Girl. Uh, you wouldn't know that, but everyone would recognize this archetype as Emergence Girl with the braids and the glasses. But mm. um, our main character is like this normal guy. He's got a childhood friend. Genki childhood friend. You've seen it before. Yeah, yeah, I know um, the type. He has cool male friend. Yeah. Again, I was going, whew, okay. They're doing all this. Childhood friend has a sunflower in her hair. I'm not saying I disliked it, but I'm just like, wow, okay. We're just doing this. You know, this. like ant, ants crawl over those sunflowers, you know. And just, like, shake it off before you put it on your head. No, they're pretty clingy. Ah. Anyway. Also um, heavy. Still heavy. Maybe, yeah. A um, lot of bloom in this show. Holy shit, Jesus, guys. Tone it down. Too much bloom. It looks like it fucking. It looks like Oblivion. <laughs> yeah, they, these character designs look exactly like Oblivion. Yes. They're all pointy. Stop. Uh, he's mean to the childhood friend, which I didn't like. Um, and the other girl is President Cosmos. He's uh, she's the Seto Kaicho. Uh, she's a senpai, and uh, he goes on a date with her with the president. Um. But then we get psyched out. President likes his baseball friend. Yeah. So um, it's like, okay. Also, one thing I noticed, the orchestral soundtrack, kind of weirdly good. Uh, something else I noticed is that during her flashback where she's explaining why she likes cool, sexy baseball friend. <laughs> yeah. That he's, he's banging his head against the wall, which is what she's attracted to him for. She, she loves and him because she saw him crying about baseball. Yeah. Where it's like, okay, he's passionate, I guess. But... They use the same sound effect every time he bangs his head into the wall. And it's just over and over and over again. And it's kind of like a dull thunk. It's not like a it's it's not like a thud or anything. Or like it's just it's like thunk, thunk, 
<laughs> over and over and over again. He's got a hollow head. Maybe he's dumb. Yeah, I mean, yeah, probably. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I just, that kind of took me out of that whole sequence. <laughs> uh, and then also the second third of the episode is identical, uh, which was, uh, yes. that was like. It happens again. They did it again, lol. I don't know why she would need his help. Can't she, I mean, like she, she literally asked him out on a date, but she can't ask his friend out. On a date? Uh, it's different because she likes that boy, and this guy is just a means to an end. I guess he's so. a he's just a a vessel. Mm. Uh, but yeah, then he goes on a date with the childhood friend, and uh, I was she, like, they were leading up like there's another confession coming. I'm like, what what level of fake out are we on here? And um, I was very uh, gladly surprised that they went for it. They both love his friend. Um, which is when I kind of got on board. But then when I really got on board... Oh, also, she fell in love with him because she saw him crying at the same time from a different angle. <laughs> Good bit. Yes. Uh, and then, holy shit, he becomes a brooding incel. <laughs> he was putting on a... It was all an act. He thought he was going to play him. He thought he was going to use his... He was his, purposefully uh... playing aloof harem main character. Yes, he's a manipulative asshole. He's incel but Lelouch it, now. But it blew, it blew up in his face. Yeah. Um, so now suddenly he rules. Although I don't know why he doesn't just talk to his butt about this. Like, if he's really friends with them, can't he just say, hey, which one of these girls you like? Cause I'll take the other one. I'll take fuck. your cast off. Yeah. And they'd be like, okay, cool. Well, because you, like, you could do like a double date. And now that yeah. he no longer has to use this persona, he can be like the actual cool smart guy that we know he is. I doubt either of them would like him, though. I don't know. Hmm. Um, and then uh, he meets up, and then he, we, we're back to the present. We meet Emergence Girl, and uh, she also has a convention, and they do this bench gag that's basically like a, a, a Mel uh, Brooks joke, like an, <laughs> or like an airplane joke. Yeah, where there's yeah. suddenly an out of place bench in the middle of the library with the shipping box out um and an imperial march ripoff playing which is weird um but she uh likes him for real but only his angsty side which i really liked i think this is a yes. good concept hopefully it goes places it could have gone it could have moved a little faster it could have moved a little faster for me. I, once, I once I got the idea, I was like, okay. Like, it was kind of a trudge to get through the second confession, like, knowing exact... Because I knew the second that we had that fake-out confession, I'm like, okay, wow, so I have to sit through this date to get to the gag that I know was coming of him getting double-cucked. Because um, I saw that shit coming a mile all the way. Uh, but I did, like... the it, it ultimately won me back at the end with the, the, the third legitimate confession... From uh, from Crazy Girl, I, I I enjoyed that for sure. She puts his hand, she puts her hand on his leg, yeah. like pretty great. Yeah, so interesting from a show that I did not expect to be interesting. Yeah, he's in a tough plot. He's in a tough spot. Yeah, I don't know. Um. I'm just looking at pictures of Sen of, 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 of Sen Ryu girl. It's just <laughs> she's cute. She cute. Um, I watched Hokago Psychoro Club. Um, after school dice club. <laughs> oh fuck yeah! Roll hey, I'm fucking anime over here. <laughs> hey, you're fucking... playing with loaded dice. You fucking, uh, you, you, you rolling, we rolling dice over here, we playing board what? games, we playing chess or something, what are we fucking, what are we fucking Chinamen over here, we playing, we playing chess, we playing games on a board? That's way too comprehensible. You need to be holding a 40 in one hand and a blunt in the other, and you need to be in a back alley. Put yourself in that mindset. I don't know if, I don't know if Dice was smoking a lot of reefer. Maybe he was. Uh, oh, you, you think who are you? That was an, that was an Andrew Dice Clay joke. Oh, I was thinking of like rolling dice in back alleys. Oh you know, no like, no no! I was doing a Andrew Dice Clay uh, impression, yeah, yeah. the Dice Man. 
This is the second time today somebody's mentioned Andrew Dice Clayton. <laughs> yeah, what was the other you know, time? Like, I, uh, just discussing how Andrew Dice Clay fucking sucks. Aw. It's a good character. I don't know. It's not, it's not me. Like, I, I'm not of that opinion. I just, uh, just thought, like, uh, this person had a very strong opinion Andrew Dice Clay was dumb. They don't understand. Uh, maybe. That's entirely possible. Um... Dice, Dice Club. After School Dice Club, manga, Leiden films. Um, the main character here is the cutest little, uh, little, little cotton candy ball I've ever seen in my life. She got the blue hair. Which is why I was thinking, oh God, please be a girl. And <laughs> her name's Mickey. Yes, we're in business, baby. <laughs> we made it. Um, and uh, she's like sitting on this park bench. Uh, the opening plays. It looks like a nicely sentimental slice of life. You know, a slice of life's properly uh, like uh, pleasant and sappy when it shows them going through all the seasons, like Yuyushki, mm-hmm. you know. But uh, yeah, Mickey. She. We got ourselves a headphones girl. She's a a loner type. And um, uh, let's see. Sorry, all my notes are just sort of. God, I want to fluff so bad. Let me fluff it. You're, uh, you're good. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know if I've ever seen an, a main character with this shade of hair before. It's so light blue. It's like yeah, lighter it's, than sky blue. Yeah, it's like if I ate that, I would be like, oh no, this is so bad for me. But at the same time, I can't stop. <laughs> yeah, it's like a some kind of uh, Jolly Rancher color. No, not even that. I don't know. No, it's too light for that. It's yeah. almost like it's like a creamy kind of blue where it's like, yeah. wow, this is extra fattening. Like, mm-hmm. you know. Or it's like you get like a scoop of this ice cream and you're like, fuck. Yeah. That was 400 calories down the fucking tube. But uh, that's she's walking home and uh, this this dummy on a bike crashes near her. And um, turns out to be this friendly, adventurous girl who wants to wants her to uh, show her around town. They're in Kyoto and she's new to Kyoto. Uh, but Mickey is a, kind of a nervous wreck. She's really worried about being lost and like, like breaks down and like starts crying because they're in the woods. It's like, girl, uh, you're in Japan. Which you're almost safe. happened to us in Kyoto. We weren't lost, but we saw a lot of spiders. They took. They were gonna take us. We must have upset some sort of spider god. They just appeared. Yeah. And then, then we never stopped seeing them. Like we, yeah. they followed us because we were on this bridge far away from Kyoto. And the entire thing is completely overrun by spiders, like hundreds of them. Those were different spiders than the ones we saw in Nara, but but yeah. Word, word spreads along the spider. Also, spider, that man. bridge was in uh, Ni- uh, Ni- Nico, not yes. uh, not. Oh yeah, far you said far away. Okay, right. Yeah, yeah. Um, so they were exploring Kyoto and they walk around all day, and then it's getting to be nighttime and they're in like the. They're in like a seedier district, and they see the, their class rep walking around. Oh no! Um, and uh, they follow her, and she ends up in something called the Psychoro Club, which is like the game club or something. And uh, she's working part time in there, and there's a ripped muscle shop owner, <laughs> this big huge guy. Um, I really gotta cycle through all that. I got so many pictures of. Of me, of uh, Mickey. Um, I'm enjoying them. Uh, so yeah, she's working there, which is against the school rules. They think, but she says it's not because she got permission. Um, they call them analog games. I, I would have, I thought they were like tabletop, but I don't know. I guess that's what the Zoomers are calling them. Um, this, this is my biggest problem is that no girl would be interested in this at all. This is boring me. They, they're explaining. This game, and I don't, I, I thought they had written it to sound as boring as possible, and then I looked it up, and it's a real board game. It's called, it's called Marrakesh, and it's about selling, oh, yeah. and it's about oh, selling Marrakech. rugs. Okay. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. And I'm like, yeah, that's that's absolutely one of those games that people, somebody, like somebody's like, oh, have you ever played Marrakesh? And I'm like, no, and I fucking don't want to. <laughs> I'm like, I know that shit's gonna suck. <laughs> next, next year, next year you're gonna tell me to play Ticket or Ride or some bullshit. Yeah, yeah. I don't, fuck, I don't fuck with that. I want to play the, the, the fucking Betrayal at the House on a Haunted Hill. I want to get myself into Haunted House Adventures. 
I don't want to fuck around with any sort of systems management. Oh god, yeah, this just the board games sound like such shit. Yeah, you it's like really you need to very much be into talking to a bunch of boring people just, for hours. Yeah, and just reading rules. Yeah. Knowing like, rules I, of things. Oh god damn. Ugh. Uh, just yeah, every game. So too many. Yeah, I'm I'm into that Ameritrash. I want something I can play when I'm fucking seven beers deep. Give me that shoots and ladders. Give me that uh, fucking a tripping. Give me that tripping on uh, synthetic tryptamines playing Yahtzee in the woods. Yeah, fuck, fuck that. That's too complicated. Let's let's play some fucking Candyland. Fucking roll the dice, baby. You know control. Your life's out of my hands when you're playing fucking Candyland. All you can do is pick up the card and see where it takes you, baby. Ooh. Uh, but yeah, I should have known they couldn't have written something as gay as Marrakesh for the show. Um, this is one of those shows that I, I really hope they don't elaborate on the club activity at all very much. Um, sort of like something like Defrag, where like it's almost entirely slice of life and very little actual game playing, very little explanations as to the, how, the way the games are played. I just wanted them to cut to like, ah, that game was fun. Like, don't explain Marrakesh to me. Although they only spend like a minute or so on it, but I was like, I don't need it. Uh, she's very cute. That's good. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of nice, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I w- it seems like a nice thing to watch when you're breathing your last. You know, like they're like they're gonna yeah. you're 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 in, you're in the hospital. You got Doctor Gavorkian with you. He's like, hey man, what do you want to watch when you slip into the void? <laughs> what, what do you what you want on the TV, fam? <laughs> Better hurry, I'm starting the gas. Hey, thanks, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for my daily dose, Doc. <laughs> I got got you, B. Now fucking breathe deep. <laughs> Drifting off the last thing you consume is cotton candy air. Playing Marrakesh. <laughs> ah, oh. Just fading into eternity. We're looking at. <laughs> he died the way he lived. Looking at this cute anime boy. <laughs> uh, God, it's like the last thing he said was, fuck, I hope that's a girl. Fuck, I wish that were me. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be. Um, I want to be the, the cotton candy girl. <laughs> imagine, imagine your, your, your eternity is just playing different super boring board games and you're a cute girl living in Kyoto. Uh, that actually does only... sound really all right. Yeah. They got Kevorkian, right? Uh, yeah. Is he dead now? Uh, he died 2011. Jesus Christ. I, w- I remember watching like a compilation of... When Norm MacDonald did um, Weekend Update, he would just do the same jokes like for years. <laughs> <laughs> whenever someone came up in the news and he had a lot of Kevorkian jokes. Um, what was the... I think the best one was... Uh, uh, oh, yeah, Kevorkian was on trial and he said that the trial was a lynching. And Norm goes, sure enough, the jury looked up to see that Kevorkian had just hanged a guy right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the rest of the jokes were just like, you know, like... When are people going to realize this guy's a terrible doctor? Because <laughs> he keeps killing people. Uh, uh. I saw I saw McDonald threaten somebody on Twitter. Oh like, yeah, I follow him. Like, yeah, he's like, he got mad like, at will... someone. Yeah, is like fucking. He's like weirdly cordial on Twitter ninety nine percent of the time, and then sometimes he's like, uh, like sort of pryingly, like, like angry at people and then i just yeah i just saw him going like you fucking asshole I'm like what the <laughs> fuck is is he wasted or is this a bit or i don't get it's it it's definitely a bit it's but he doesn't do bits on twitter like he's so boring on twitter that it's kind of weird like he doesn't know how to use it almost I don't no know. it seems it, it's lulling you into a false sense of security for years so though shocking god it's strange yep um okay that's the dice show hey a wait, I have more picks. Bill, while I while I show the picks. Look at those girls. That girl, singular. She does look very pleasant. Oh. I wonder what she's listening to. <laughs> okay. 
Next show. And show the true crime of democracy is um is. <laughs> <laughs> To a, to a nightcore remix of of Gizek. Uh, Chojin Koko Seitachi wa Isekai. Isekai, everybody. Um, no shit. Uh, high school prodigies have it easy, even in another world. Which I don't know if high school prodigies have it easy. Like they have a lot of expectations put on them they kind of peak early usually they're above their they're so far above their peers that they can't they, relate. Uh, yeah they they don't socialize properly cuz they have so much work th- and uh and responsibility thrust on them yep that's why you got to cruise they, through they overstress themselves yeah you have to graduate with an 89 just Hell to, yeah. you have to sacrifice that a and that's that's your uh uh you know that, that's your uh, uh your debts paid to the world did I tell Keeps you, you a, that I, uh, humble? What I I graduated with an eighty four, and mm-hmm. that put me at the bottom thirty percent of our class. Oh yeah, everyone had insane <laughs> grades because fucking it's it's uh public, it's American public high school, and we were in an affluent like like not prop like there's. No one was like you're not, you're not gonna drop no no out. yeah no one was skipping school or dropping out because they were pregnant or skipping school because their parents were beating on each other or something so it's like everyone no. just I had a ninety and I was in the I was the thirtieth percentile I think so thirty percent of people had higher than a ninety yeah I just like literally stopped doing homework at a certain point because I'm like I want to <laughs> play, play Halo like it's, oh yeah it was Halo, Halo years but it was golden school. age of Halo you can't fucking yeah, what the fuck? It's like high school is always gonna be there. Halo th- three, four. Yeah, dude, fucking people, uh, fucking two thousand eight. We're talking one point five million people on Halo three a night, and you're telling me I'm gonna miss out on that? This fuck people you. will be writing about this. Uh, <laughs> I, I am this is history. Yeah, this is history in the making, motherfucker. The, the fucking, uh, we're talking round forty five on Nazi zombies. Like this mm. is this is, I mean. We're living the golden years. We're writing the history books. Damn it! I don't need to read them. Game fuel. Ugh. <laughs> um, this is a light novel. Project number nine. This is studio. Um, it's um, all of the uh, smartest high schoolers. Um. Uh. Well, it starts out with a. You know a. A, a stinger or whatever you call it, where there's an airplane crashing and there's some fucking stacked as shit elf girls watching it. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Isekai Mouse because there's a blonde one and a brunette one. But they're fucking booby ass elves. Yeah. Uh, and then it introduces all of our um, prodigies. There's a scientist, mechanic girl, samurai girl. I didn't un- understand the setting because it was like. Started off as fantasy, which, you know, is the isekai. And then there's, like, Middle Eastern War. And then there's space. I wasn't sure if it was a video game. But yeah, whatever. Yeah, they just kind of snatched them from everywhere, huh? Yeah. There's a doctor girl. The world's top doctor. Which, clearly she's a surgeon. I don't... Whatever. Yeah, doctor's pretty vague. That could be any number of fields. Like, uh, they could be, like... She could be, like, a doctor of literature. I'm sure she can just do everything medicine-related, because it's an anime. Yeah. There's a rich guy... And he's talking on the phone, and he's basically saying, like, what's that? I have tons of money? Oh. Yes. <laughs> I would just do that into a cell phone all day if I was rich. Like, oh, yeah. my, fund, again how much money my funds are worth how much now? Oh. Yeah, that's my pickup line. Now, actually. why don't you transfer it's... all of my funds into a, a different fund? Yeah, transfer yeah, them I, back, I, why don't you? I really want to tank an economy today. Just Let's see what the Seychelles really are up to. Really pissing off my helicopter pilot. Be like, what's that? It's like I know that's not on. I can hear when there's cell phones on. I'm a pilot. It interrupts the the signal. Um, there's a gay magician boy. Okay, one of these things is not like the other. What's the magician doing here? I summon what? gay magician to the field. <laughs> it's power oh. to suck all my life points out of my dick. Where did he find that card? I didn't know a card could suck you off. Blood yeah, I dragon. I don't understand how one of them is just magic. 
like, like so, so his power is that he's like a magician. But, but like, it's not a power. I think he's just really good at magic. I think he's not actually floating. I just saying, I don't think he would be rolling in this crew. Like, we've got it's a like we, a, yeah, it's a motley crew too. Because it's like, okay, scientist lady, yeah, you're on board. Rich guy, you can come along. Prime Minister of Japan, yeah, you're, 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 you're definitely invited to the party. Well, that's the other thing that pisses me off is that they put them all on one plane. You're not supposed to yeah, do that that's shit. Not safe. You're, yeah, not, no, you're, you're not even supposed to put the president and the vice president on the same plane, I don't think. You can't yeah, fucking no. put the seven, the world's seven most important people, apparently, on a single small airliner, like a private plane. Yeah, put the magician on a dinghy, honestly. Like, he can show up last. He like, be he on a cargo ship. Yeah, he's day. like the entertainment for the... He goes to little St. James, and he's the fucking... He's the... Dance monkey. Yeah. Yeah, uh, he's Dance. the fuck toy. Um, while everyone else is doing business, um, he's also so young. It's like it's just I don't really. He's good he at magic, to, but that's not like insightful. Like they're not gonna. Yeah, learn he things. like he probably does the opening ceremony, and then he goes to the back room and gets his fucking little bussy filled. Hole. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we establish what his use is then. Bussy, I mean, bussy gets the, topped up. <laughs> oh the, bussy, the bussy needs to get topped up. <laughs> we're gonna finish this meeting. We're gonna we're gonna negotiate these trade deals. We're gonna oh. watch a sword demonstration. Then we're gonna go fill a fill a bussy up. <laughs> um, I do have to say that that is the tightest little boy pussy I've ever fucked. Thank that you. Is some fine bussy. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Prime Minister, for bringing us this tight little boy pussy. <laughs> Wait, I'm reading the wrong script. This is oh, the CNN cameras are here. <laughs> I've made a mistake. It's the wrong paper. And they, they got in a, okay. Like, why? Why is she a samurai? <laughs> I don't. There's know. a samurai, and there's also a ninja spats girl. But she's not a ninja. She's a journalist. No, but she's a journalist. <laughs> like, like yep. you know, you think you you want that journalist as far the fuck away from this as possible. They're, they're not good. The prime minister and the richest dude on the planet are not going to invite this journalist. Oh to the party. god, they can't lift a finger. They're going to fucking get yeah. They're going to get uh, me too'd. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, and there's heterochromic politician guy. Um, so yeah, they crash. Uh, the president wakes up in a in busty maid house. Um, and she's like, oh, don't worry, all seven of you made it. And I'm like, hey, okay, the seven kids, what about the pilots and the flight crew? There's it more than seven. It was a self-flying plane. Oh, an AI. Smart, smart lady. Oh, that's good. That's okay. Good thinking. Um, all my, all the rest of my notes are kind of goddamn her fucking tits. There, there's a point where they're too booby. What the, the fuck? That's, no, it's a no, it's a thing. I, no, I, they're pert, I, dude. No. Come on, it's hard As, to impress me with anime boobs anymore. You can see the nipples through the cloth. Azure Lane's got this problem too. They're too booby. It's Who's, too much. Maybe the, there's two. I mean, there's dozens of boats in Azure Lane. This one, I know big boobs, motherfucker. I've seen like Seven Deadly Sins, <laughs> fucking High School DxD. I some those that those have boob. Those are boob town. Psychon no Quasar. Those are obnoxiously booby. This is like, mwah. they got they got they got movement to them. They look soft instead of like big hard watermelons. Strong disagree. I like the I'm I like the wolf girl better. The wolf mommy. Oh, this is bullshit. Nah, she better. Ah, uh, she's look, like man, a grandma. Like she's like old. I like, that, I like that rare meat, baby. What does that even mean? That 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 fucking wolf strange. Oh, I, I guess I get it. Sorry, Mage says he heralds in humanity's end. I don't know what that means. Uh, is is he is he making reference to what we're saying, or is it currently as a result of? I feel like I've contracted a strange new disease. Watches it spreads, and I herald. Oh, herald in humanity's end. Okay, I didn't read that right the first time. I mean, bring sucks, in. Dog. Uh, yeah, drink some apple cider vinegar. I don't know. It, Get some Gatorade. <laughs> Don't drink Gatorade. <laughs> Ugh. Do you really drink Gatorade as a sickness cure? Uh, I just like to. It you know keeps you hydrated. It was like water. I don't know. Yeah, but you got but but it's got like electrolytes, which I think is just salt. 
Is are electrolytes just salt? I I'm I've I've been very confused about that too. I I googled that at some point and I still was not able to figure it out. So I guess it's complicated. <laughs> My relationship with electrolytes is complicated. Yeah. It's. But I think it's basically salt. Yeah. But I don't think you can just like put some salt in some water and that's there you go you have some electrolytes. No, because you could pretty much kill yourself if you do that. Well, too that much. if you do it too much, but like I'm sure Gatorade doesn't have that much sodium. If you like sprinkle a tiny little bit of salt in some water, is that good? I don't know. Maybe a little bit. Maybe it helps you retain a little bit. I don't know. Um. So. Oh, and I, I go. Oh God, she's gonna mama bird him, and boy does she. Mm. Dude, there's a spit trail. I did not expect to be. A I did not. Ex- spit trail. I did not expect to enjoy a mama bird. But uh, I don't know. I would suck a meatball out of this elf girl's <laughs> elf girl's masticators. Oh my god. Um, the wolf girl's name is Winona. I think. Hey, that's the name of the dog in My Little Pony Friendship is. Oh no. Okay, moving on. Um So yeah, they realize they're in an isekai. Um the the fag magician kid has a meltdown. He has a tiny hat on. It's one of them friendly isekais where everyone welcomes them pretty much. Um uh th- <laughs> This is when it lost me is when they invented mayonnaise. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I thought you I thought you post about that on Twitter and I'm like that doesn't Real. I literally say it doesn't sound real, but it's real. Why didn't you believe me? I didn't want to believe it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like... Why, may- why, why mayonnaise? It's <laughs> just the craziest... I don't know. And you, like, r- like, mayonnaise is not that hard to get to. You think that they would have... Well, actually, I don't know how he made mayonnaise, because you need, like, a neutral oil for that, and I don't know where he got that. Like... Because you need egg yolks. That's easy. I'm sure they have chickens. Mm -hmm. And then you need vinegar. Okay, that's easy to make. Alcohol. And then you need oil, like vegetable oil. This is press some corn. Corn oil? I mean, maybe. Um, They're also like... I don't know if mayonnaise is immediately putting me over the top on some potatoes. If especially if I've been eating yeah, potatoes. They put it on potatoes. Like it's week. like this is the yeah. they have an inventor girl that could solve their energy problems and put them She's into got modernity. A nuclear fucking reactor. Instantly. She, she has a nuclear reactor. She has the ability she could, she's probably got fucking Game of Thrones on her little device there. I mean, like you would rock these guys fucking world. Show them Star Wars. You know what I mean? I do know what you mean. Yeah, but uh, they just invent I mean, Manny. Uh, she's gonna like synthesize aluminum. Like these people are in for the most ridiculous tech boom of all time. They're I guess Doctor Stone already has that uh, has that niche covered because Doctor Stone is literally just about a guy inventing stuff and basically an isekai. Yeah, so, yeah. She can't just I, do that. This this show. Uh, um, Man. For me, it was like extra wor- uh, not worth my time because it's like, okay, overpowered isekai, it's a thing. What if we had all of the overpowereds? And then what they didn't we- do anything. It's like, why would you put them all in here if they can't? I mean, I guess they do fight off like invaders later in the episode, but. The journalist is involved in that for some reason. She's a ninja. Why, the- why though? Yeah, I don't know. It's like he wanted to combine. He wanted, he liked the number seven, but he wanted a ninja and a journalist. I guess if you were a ninja in the real world, you would use that those powers to sneak into places and do journalist stuff. I guess that's no, probably that's, that's espionage that at that point. She could never be a spy. That's just have base, her be a that's spy. the same thing. Like that's just but journalism, journalism isn't journalism is stealing state and corporate secrets and selling them for profit. That's literally just what espionage is. Hmm. Well, you could have her in a cat suit. That's true, and that's a. Missed I can't. Yeah, no, I can't. I can't argue with that one. She really should be in a cat suit or something. Yeah. Although she's, she's wearing like spats. A, I don't know. That's okay. Yeah, but let's say it was all spats. If she was a Genki, <laughs> a Genki cat suit, just like a cat, girl. a cat woman. Ooh. Cat woman's pretty fucking hot. Yeah, yeah. Some of them are. The Halle Berry um, one is. 
I like the one from the the Batman television show. There's a Batman. Oh, from like 50 years ago. Well, there's the 60s one. You've got uh, you got the black one. She's pretty sexy. Uh, and then you've also got the the uh, 90s Batman animated television show. Oh, yeah. okay. There was uh, there in Spider Man Two for the PlayStation Two. There was a Catwoman that wasn't in the movies, and I remember her being pretty fucking hot. That's that's Black Cat. Ah, oh, god damn it. Oh yeah, Catwoman is DC because it's Batman. Okay, all right. Same thing though. I mean, literally the same thing, right? Effectively, I mean, yeah. How are they any different? They're, yeah, they're like sexy thief girls. Cat themed. Let's see who's hotter. Black Cat has white hair. Cat woman. Yeah, there's all kinds mm. of cat woman, cat women. Yeah. Think about Black Cat is she's always cartooned, so she's hotter, like automatically. And if you Google if you Google Cat Woman, it's just a bunch of Anne Hathaway and fucking Batman Returns. Anne Hathaway's pretty cute. But she's not sexy like Catwoman's supposed to be. Wow, they've got a lot of them. There are so many cat women. I'm on looking the at screen. a boss baby cat woman. I don't like that. Ah uh, Yeah, not a fan of that. Or what is this? It's like a some kind of doll? What the fuck? It looks like a Chucky doll. Or yeah. Um, but uh, don't make a Catwoman Halloween costume for the chillins. <laughs> don't do that to them. Um, oh, yeah. From the cartoon. They got big old eyes. Uh, what were we talking about? Oh, my God. I don't, I don't like what's going on in this picture. What's that? the fuck is her face it looks like she just ripped a fat she ripped a fat one she just fucking ripped a terrible part <laughs> she's so like disgusted at you defiantly yeah. she a little bit came out she definitely the whiskers charged. are tickling her nose and and she's fucking about to sneeze, to sneeze. <laughs> why look at her look at how wrinkled up her sleeves are the fuck is going on? <laughs> check, check out those stacks. Yeah, it's like oh, the '90s. Gosh. They just wanted to make stuff as unsexy as possible for or something. I don't know. Oh my god, I don't like it. I'm not a fan. <laughs> Look at her fucking face. <laughs> Catwoman. Sony... Yeah, defiant indeed. That's the most defiant fucking face I've ever seen. That's strong female. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I'm Catwoman. Hear me roar. Yeah, hear me. She's oh growling. I guess is she hissing. I guess that's what they're trying to go for. <laughs> I mean, that's just all around. Holy shit, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck. Anyway. Yeah. So in this fuck. show, uh, what else happens? Um. Some bad soldier men come. They Dog girl's up. son is treasurer, and he's upset. Um, yeah, he just had the boy just has magic, and no one would ever feel threatened by like this little twink floating in the air. He wears thigh highs, um, but they uh, scare the guys away from the town, save it. And uh, yeah, this is kind of trash. I don't know. Trash with big old boobies, though. No. Yeah, yeah. Um yeah. Yeah, I'm not interested in, in this at all. No, nothing about this is appealing. It's an isekai. It's an overpowered isekai. None of the characters are particularly cool or interesting. Mm. Uh there's like seven of them, so they're just never gonna end up becoming cool or interesting in any way. Yeah. How do you feel about Fuck. taking taking a break? Sure, yeah, I'll take a I'll take a brief break. Okay. We'll we'll we will do a break. I can't, I mean, we can't hold on. We can't have dead air. Play, play a Cripple Creek by Clear uh, by by uh by the band Cripple Creek. Why? I don't know. It's been stuck in my head all day. Will that get us uh, taken down? Probably, yeah. All right, let's do it. Uh, Cripple Creek does not return any. What? The, oh, the band up on Cripple Creek. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah see here good evening this live that's fine sure. they were good live yeah that, that is a less likelihood of getting us uh dmca'd 
Wait, when do they start the song? Yeah, this is good break music. Yeah, oh yeah, I have it way, way down in my mix. Oh no, I turned it down, sorry. We can turn it back to normal. Alright, yeah, let's take a break. Alright, we'll be right back. Recording. Why's that? Um, I muted my microphone and it and it uh, stopped my recording. That's yeah, not a problem. Uh, got to have I backups, got, dog. I got myself a beer because it's big boy season. I'm drinking beer now. I don't care. What kind of beer you got, man? Um, well, since I'm a home brewer now, I only buy brands with non-twist off caps, so I can reuse the bottles. Oh. Um, so I, this is a Brooklyn, uh, brand. Brooklyn lager? A lager, yes. Yeah, nice. Yeah, little, good. little hoppy for me. Mm. But it's good. I don't know. Nice, dude. Um. I remember before I started a business, I would have, like, I'd have, like, <laughs> <laughs> I would have, like. Yeah, I remember. Like, I remember buying your beer. No, it's on. No, it's before I started a business, I would have days where I didn't have to work. Yeah. Um, and now it turns out uh, those days are gone, and I work every single day now. Every single fucking day. It's now you know more. the. Now you. Yeah, you. The entrepreneur life. I got a phone call. <clears throat> this was at the peak of the height of my. My car just got hit by someone else, and I need <laughs> to. So I'm on, I've been on the phone with Geico all day. And they're like, yeah, we'll give you a call back once we, you know, confirm that there is indeed a police report in. I'm like, okay, great. And I hang up. And then five minutes later, I get a phone call. And this lady's talking to me. And, and I'm, I've been so in the Geico zone that I thought this was, like, somebody from Geico. And it turns out it was somebody propositioning, like, it's like, hey, we need your services. 
and you're like oh fuck so i had to change gears like immediately yeah and it's uh yeah also now i have no there is no much there's no such thing as free time anymore because at any moment somebody could call me with important business information <laughs> and, uh, important business boy. calls yeah it turns out i'm now shackled I'm just shackled you're to tied my, down. my work. Yeah. Well, at least you're making mad bank. Kind of. Oh. Kind of. Yeah, yeah. I I have just a ridiculous amount of work coming That's up. It's the trade off. You can retire early now. Hmm. Well, we'll see. <laughs> maybe, maybe my kids can go to college. That's nice. We'll see. Yeah. Maybe. Um As your lane time. Okay, so I I was pretty excited for this. Phone games, let's go, baby. Yes, you know what it you is. Have I don't know if we've ever been in this situation where you one of us had an insight into the phone game being adapted. You uh pumped, yeah, I guess right. You pumped a, I understand an ungodly amount of time into this game. I let's see. I started playing it in Japan. Which yes. was September of last year. I'm guessing I played it for somewhere in the realm of four to six months. But that's every day. Yes. For probably at least half an hour a day. Um, on average. Wow. Uh, so. 15 yes. minutes a month. Yeah. I understand how the game works. <laughs> and I know all of the characters. And there, you know, for a new person, there might have been like, wow, too many boats. And I was like, I know every one of these boats. Let me tell you, as a new person, I stopped processing the fact that there were boats. <laughs> um, my eyes glazed over. I think they might have rolled back into my head at one point. Too many boats. I was just kind of allowing the images to pass through my corneas into my brain and it probably just passed straight through, honestly. I retained borderline nothing of this. I'm so uh, glad I'm finally in the position of... Um, there weren't enough characters from this MOBA gay for okay, me. All right, because yeah, where the missed... fuck is Langley? Yeah, course, I'm gonna yeah. fucking... Fly, oh, I'm gonna buy funny. a fucking plane ticket and fly to your fucking studio bibbery animation, whoever the fuck you are, and I'm gonna rip your goddamn heads off. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. You, know, okay, you ever hear of a little studio called KyoAni? Yeah, I wonder what happened to them. They didn't have Langley in their shows either. Gee, I wonder what happened oh to them. God. Maybe look them up. Hmm? Just digging our own grave. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I felt kind of bad about that one, but I had to. Uh, it's all right. It's all right. Um, you know, Gallus, people make jokes about way worse things. Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to heal. Um, yeah, yeah. These wounds, they will not hear. Heal. <laughs> that was um, that was convinced. If you even if you did that on purpose, that was convincingly accidental. Um, uh, Bibbery did Grisaya Phantom Trigger, and that's it. I don't know how they got the contract for the most profitable thing of all time. I like they. I would like. I would think you would have to bid so low. Just because, like, it's going to be successful no matter what. But then this show ended up looking better than I expected. And having better production values than I expected. It looks better than the fucking, um... Than the Kantai Collection anime. Which was, like, mostly CG. Um... Uh... In my, I, uh, my notes here, it says... If this, if this gets me back into the game, I'm going to a screening of Joker and asterisk, asterisk, asterisk... <laughs> Asterisks. Uh, oh my god. We're gonna get flagged. <laughs> We're gonna get arrested. No, it's fine. It's censored. I don't know what I'm gonna do in Joker. Maybe no, I'm gonna no, wait. It could it could be, you know, uh uh just flatulate a, a big enjoy you know a bowl of delicious pop flat rip a big old fart in Joker. Um sorry I I I pressured you into not watching Joker and waiting until I'm down there. I didn't know it would be a global worldwide phenomenon. It's all right, man. I uh, have nothing to look forward to in my life other than work and then watching The Joker in a month. So, okay. you know. Yeah, three weeks. Um, I, uh, I, uh, last Friday, I think it was, um, my dad texted me and he was like, you want to go to this, uh, this like art uh, gallery thing? 
This it's is part in... of your your dad's ongoing quest to be to be cultured because he wanted to go to like this crazy local pageant thing, and and he's pageant? been texting you. Yeah, uh, the the uh, I don't want to necessarily play cards, but uh, the the Hilkamora, uh, fucking you know that kind of shit, right? He he invite he was like, hey, I'm going to this or has gone to this Hilkamora. Like, I don't remember uh, the 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 uh, what was it the not the Mormons, but the... Oh, yeah, he did go to the Mormon thing, right. Yeah. Yeah, he's this... He's a really weird guy where he goes to these, like, really, like, um... Oh, how do I put it? <laughs> they're, they're niche things, I'd say. No, he goes to these, uh, events, like... Um, well, I guess the Mormon thing doesn't really fit into that category, but he goes to, like, pride parades and, like, art festivals like this and stuff and he does not like get the uh the memo kind of mm. so like um so like we go there and it's this huge like building that probably was like a school or an apartment building at some point or something and it's like you're walking through the hallways and all of these like it seems like former studio apartments are all turned into these art studios where people are selling shit extremely cool. like way overpriced like really shitty like uh kitschy shit uh some of the paintings were kind of interesting um uh you know but they're just like you can buy like a mug for 28 dollars you know because someone oh, fucking geez. spun it or whatever um and um it was uh, yeah it was all fucking it was almost all of it was fucking terrible like really really uh uh trashy shit and you know the most artsy people walking around and also my dad oh, I know it's right. yeah, uh yeah. and uh in the middle of that uh steven i was like god damn i'm spending my time doing this and i bet like it's going to be the one time in eight weeks that steven asks to hang out because he doesn't have anything else to do and sure enough while i'm in there steven texts me he's like you want to hang out and i was like god damn so i finally get out of there and I'm like, okay, I can hang now. And he's like, damn, I just bought a, I just bought a ticket to the Joker. And I'm like, what theater? I was ready to, I was ready to rush <laughs> oh and totally gosh. bail on you and watch it with him. And he didn't respond, so he must have already been in the theater. Uh, so I missed a screening of the of Joker by probably five minutes. Um, but it's funny because like we're in this art bazaar, and my, uh, you know, like we're walking around, and my, my dad at one point we're walking through this hallway, and he's like, so that. That person back there, it's like, it's like in girl clothes, but it has like, it has, it has like a beard and whiskers and stuff. So is that like, is that like a boy or a girl? And I'm like, oh man, you are fucked. <laughs> you think there are still rules. <laughs> He's trying his best. Oh, he has no idea. Uh, so he does, he does stuff like that. It's very funny. <laughs> Not a, You know, you can't, you can't ask is the thing. No. Um, you just have to go with like gender neutral words like dude <laughs> and, 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 do and, and dog and homie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my my man. <laughs> you, 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 should, you should manipulate your dad. You should tell your dad. It's like everyone's like, what's it's like the, the new greeting dad is uh, what's Bracken? And it's uh, yeah, yeah. what's Bracken, my man. My man. Stay brazy. <laughs> I'm, he works for the government. I'm going to get fired. What? The government. <laughs> what? Your dad works for the government now? Uh, yeah, he works, I mean, he's just like a, he works for the Department of Labor. Oh, gotcha. He's not, a, he's not an elected official. I was gonna say, <laughs> that's, that's a come up for sure. No, there are a lot um, of jobs that are not that. I had to look into, uh, uh, uh Mage says that a U-556 is the best boat. And I uh oh, don't look up the submarines. Oh, what? that's, that's one of the tamer submarines, okay. What are the submarines? Don't, don't worry about it. Azure. No. Submarine. God damn it. I didn't get any of the submarines. I'm just warning. I just... Oh, they're just riding them. They're just riding it. Look, look at them riding those submarines. Yeah, they're, they're, they're not wearing a, a lot. They're having... <laughs> Let's yeah, see. Look at that. I think I stopped playing before the submarines got into the English Why are version. Why these actually. slowly girls always judging me? 
They're always judging me with their judgy eyes. Too smug for you? <laughs> like, oh, you started your own business. Ooh. Oh. Say goodbye to your free time. Yeah. Say goodbye to anime. Uh, yes, so Azure Lane. Um, it's the director of Grisaya and Rewrite and Kinaro Mosaic. Sometimes he goes by the name of only Tensho. Nice. One name. Uh, it does look like Grisaya a little bit if you watched that show. Not you, but I know. He's like the royal figurative you. you. Yeah. Um, and... Um, Man, I'm. I was. Uh, I was trying not to be excited because I didn't want to be a sucker. Because I'm like, bam, man. I I know all these boats, bam. I know all these boats. Um, we we can see Ayanami. She has under boob. They say war never yeah. changes three times. Yeah, they do. In the first like six minutes, um, we meet Laffy. The, the third one was the one that put like put me to sleep. It's oh, like yeah. when you're uh, it's like when you're you're going under quest or whatever and it's like and when i get to the third time you're going to drift into a deep slumber mm. and when, when the fur the third war never changes happened that's when i fully glazed over yeah um yeah laffy's here she's in a poor state of dress she's a sleepy girl um yeah she there really are gotta, uh, gotta raise there are there are jo- there, there are little jokes thrown in there for people who play the game there's there are san diego jokes they walk past san diego and she's singing her song um, on like a soapbox or something. The joke with San Diego, she's like the red-haired one and she's very annoying. And she's supposed to be super rare, which is her designation in the game. But there was a period of time, and I don't know if it's still going on, where basically every other boat you would get when you rolled was fucking San Diego. Ah. And she sucks also, even though she's super rare. She's not a good ship. So... I expect. I hope for more San Diego jokes. Um, the other thing about this show, besides the fact that I know these boats, is that I am a sucker for shots of the ocean against lots of puffy ass cumulus clouds. Big blue ocean. I love it. Um, and t- t- orchestral score. Anything that reminds me of Ace Combat, basically. Um, Ace Combat Five. I think more has the ocean, the cumulus clouds. So that's uh. That's my conflict of interest besides the other one, which is that, well, I didn't spend any money on this game, but um, I had a lot of, it's, I'd, a lot of blood was transported multiple feet, meters to my penis while playing oh this my game. God. Um, I would like to do the math on that and figure out how many, what the distance. Anyways. If it's going from your brain to your dick. That's a solid three feet i would say yeah it's gotta be about a meter yeah if that happens every five minutes when i play the game you know yeah and it's not always coming back is the thing it's going in one direction sometimes it stays there forever (laughs) yeah yeah um there are these uh i got a blood clot in my dick and it's stuck yep it's just it's just there now that's just like that it's a big big baseball sized knot (laughs) (laughs) oh my god (laughs) (laughs) Speaking of knots. Uh oh. Yeah, dog oh, girls. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, these, uh, we got horny, bloodlustful Japanese, uh, fox sisters, Kaga and Akagi. And, uh, there's a big battle And there's a lot of panty shots. Again, did not expect it. Kind of pleasantly surprised, not because I like panty shots, but because you'd think they would. I don't know, avoid that for such a prestigious licensed product. Ah, yes. The prestigious. Um, yes. Uh, so, and it seems like they're mostly 2D during the fights, at least in the first episode, which is fucking crazy. Um, because, like, Kanzai Collection is such a, is, I think, a bigger game, at least in Japan it is, and it was all fucking CG. And, like, to animate fights in 2D for something that really doesn't need it, is kind of weirdly, unexpectedly uh, impressive. and all, Except for Unicorn. She's CG, and she's riding her dumb ass unicorn That's, around. That was, that was the silliest part of the show to me. Uh, it, you know what? Actually, everything going on was... Yeah, but I, it's kind Dude, of... I just, I just don't know where the fuck anything is. Where are we? Like what the fuck is this? Yeah, I mean they're in the they're in the a port. 
There's so many girls. Friendly territory, I yeah. Can't, I can't. How am I even layman supposed to this? Yeah. <laughs> Which I guess that's not the point. You know, the point is that I'm not supposed to keep up with this at all. Did you keep with? How did you do with this compared to? Oh, you haven't watched Fate Grand Order yet, have you? No. Oh, okay, never mind then. Um. Yeah, I thought we would get Fate Grand Order now that we've watched. You know. Fate. Stay night. Yeah, now they're experts. And now they're face perts. Um, turns out maybe not. But uh, um, so I think it's yeah. The show looks kind of good. The, there's all these Sakura effects with the with the fox girls. They're flying around in like a tornado of petals. How come they're bad now? Uh, what do I you mean now? They were on this, I thought they were all on the same side. I thought they were all fighting the. Well, bad they side. have to make a show out of it. I mean, I. Uh, no, there was definitely there were definitely levels in the game where you were fighting the Sakura Empire. I, they probably join up at some point and then they fight the whatever. Oh, no, what a betrayal! Yeah, um, the the even the music, not bad. This is, I was like, oh, this is kind of good. Weird. There's a big wolf thing. Um, Enterprise. They make her pretty cool. She says. Is that the, she says is that the lady with the hat. She's the aircraft carrier. She says engagey. She turns her bow into a bow and arrow. Yeah. I don't know. There are gir the girls are boats and they're also on boats. Well, you have to kind of suspend your yeah, like uh And they fight boats. Yes. <laughs> they attach boats to themselves. Boats are their weapons. There's planes also, too. Hey man, boats are dumb. Well, now hold on. Where's my record scratch sound effect? This is bullshit. Uh, like, like, okay, so you're facing a flying enemy? Why don't you just make all of them planes then? You need to refuel. You need artillery. Powerful guns. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> why, don't you, why don't you gotta make, make a big plane that can fuel the little plane? It also has artillery uh, on it. Uh, that's a like a B fifty two or something. I mean, they need to. Uh, I mean, where do you launch them from? Like, you know, you need to be on the ocean. You need to be on the. You need subs. Well, you, you need. Have, you can have a boat, but why are there so many? You need destroyers. Uh, yeah, they got, you know. they got pushed off of the sea. It's like okay, okay. Well, like we got all this land, and and like you know, we can mount some sort of attack from the air. I'm sure. I'm just a little. Per you know, maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna let it go. I'm just gonna like be like, okay, I'm gonna suspend my disbelief here. Yeah. And uh I'm just gonna let it go. You gotta enjoy maybe, the girls. You know what? There are a lot of girls. I liked uh, I liked some of the girls. I liked uh Oh uh, god. <laughs> <laughs> just... uh, I like I like the fox girls, especially yes. this smug one who's judging me right now. Yeah, I did not know they were also incestuous because there's Indianapolis and Portland, and Portland really is like uh, stalkerish, obsessed about Indy Chan. She calls her. I didn't know there was yet another sisterly uh, uh, pairing, but I guess there is. I like it. Uh yeah, and I will say the writing kind of like there's. I don't know if there's any way to do a show that's not like this, but like it feels like a show within a show where it's like the characters watching the adaptation of the product they like, you know, because all the writing is just like Enterprise. Enterprise is good at war, but she thinks it's bad. You know, she's, it's a conflict. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of simple there, but it's not as bad as I was, I was expecting. It might even be okay. I don't know. It's a good setup for an episode to introduce, like, at least some of the characters where they're looking for, for unicorns, uh, stuffed animals, so they have to go around asking everyone. You meet a bunch of people. Cleveland is almost like the central character of this episode. She's uh, kind of front and center. It's kind of weird. That was it was funny to to me hearing Cleveland. <laughs> oh yeah, because they all they all have American <laughs> cities name. There's fucking like, uh, there's Pen uh, Pensacola. Nice. I was gonna say Pensacola, like yeah, yeah, she's in there. Um, oh Indianapolis, Jamestown. I said. Town. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. There's Amazon. Is in there. She's like the pirate girl. Um, yeah, it's funny. 
It was funny. San Diego. I, like I, 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 I want to. I want to hear. I want. I want to. I want to go to go for really, really deep cuts. Oh, I'm sure. There's. There's literally like 400 of them. Walla walla. Probably. Yeah. I don't know. There's uh, all these. Uh, they didn't show any of the German. Where's uh, what's your face? Whatever the German one is. I did open the game because of the show, but only to remember the ship's names, not to, to play it. Everything's different. I don't understand it now. I'll never be able to go back to it. Perfect. Because, you know, it's, you it's been several months, so they, of course, the whole game's just fucking different. The UI is right. different. Um, okay. As your lane story goes, that there's a bunch of factions that join together to beat some abyssals or whatever. <laughs> I know that. That's the summary I had, actually. Yeah. You just stole my summary of it. Well, I mean, yeah, the only thing you didn't understand is why the, uh, I mean, the reason they're opposed is because the Sakura Empire is now using the alien technology or something. I'll, I'm sure yeah, they'll but resolve that. They're still fighting them aliens? Yes, they're using the tech to fight the alien. But are they ultimately working towards the same goal? Not right now. I think the aliens are kind of gone for now, so now they're just fighting each other. Oh. It's a Keep up, man. Come on. All right, we got to move on. We got to move on. Ugh. Yes. Um, Chuny Boys. Yep. Chub Chubio, which I guess is short for Chunibyo. Gekihatsu Boy, which is a misnomer because there are multiple boys. Uh, man, we have several more shows to go. I've already drank too much. Uh, this, you is the last, this is the last one I watched. And then when I watched the opening for the next show, maybe we just cut it off there. Uh, and then we, uh, and then yeah. I'll watch some more stuff, and well, we'll split it into three episodes. Sure. I'll talk about Val Cross Love real quick. I'll just do the ones okay. I've watched. Yeah, um, do you want to just hit that? But We can even hit that before we go to choose. Sure, yeah, I'll do, I'll do Val, Val Love, Val right, Cross yeah. Love, which is a... Oh, let me get the picture up here. <clears throat> uh, from several pictures. Um, this is a manga being adapted by Hoods. And that's kind of it, I think. Um, I was uh, my impressions first off was that it looks kind of horny, horny, nice, kerning. Uh, the the very first shot in the opening looks bad, like the walking animation is off. Um, no, there's wear a panda suit. Uh, never trust a show that starts the first episode with the opening. By the way, not good, not a good sign, especially if the opening is bad. Um. So, okay, I'm gonna forego the summary of what happens in this episode. Um, to to sort of convey the experience of watching Val <laughs> Cross Love episode one. Imagine watching episode five of Val Cross Love, <laughs> and that's exactly what this oh, felt like. God. I I was so bewildered. I was like. I, uh, it's one of those things where you're like, is this problem with me? Because I had just taken a small dose of Etizolam. Uh huh. Because I had just got a new order in. I wanted to test it out. But I wasn't that out of it. And I was like, wait, am I, am I way more fucked up than I think I am? Because this seems completely wrong. Also, more bloom. Um, and the character designs are fucked up. The facial features are spaced out all wrong. Um, but the main character is a big scary fella. And he's living, he's not really scary. He has a heart of gold, you know, you get it. He's just scared of other people. He's the door to door thing. He's like a nerd. Um, he goes to his house and there's all these naked girls there. They don't explain why they're in his house. Um, I don't know if there's a supernatural element to this. I don't know what's happening. Um, there's a, there's a class president with a semi he may cut in there. Um, uh, there's a blonde one in very few clothes. There's so many girls. It's a mess. They're not, they're barely introducing any of them. They're all just fucking in his house. It's just like the first, like 60, the first two, th two thirds of this episode are just like lewd event, lewd event. And then he's like, oh, I want to study. Keep the boobs away from me. And then another loot event. Not even really good ones. Um, 
And um, at some point, his mom makes him go with one of the girls to like go shopping or something at night. And she makes them hold hands. What? Don't know why. And then no, a, I can see this. I can see why this would fuck you. And then a huge demon shows up. No one reacts to it as if it's like alarming. So it's I'm like looking at this poster, and it already tells me basically. Yeah. Fucking bullshit. Um, it's like, and it's a noble goal, I think, to make a first episode and try to avoid like all the boring exposition that a lot of lore heavy shows do but for some reason like there's a way to like imply the backstory that conveys it clearly without explicitly stating it that works and this is not it at all because it's like they just said fuck it you'll figure it out um which if it's just like a show mostly for horny purposes I guess makes sense, but why even go th- through all this stuff? I don't know. Why confuse me? Just like explain it real quick so we can get to the tits. Um. But um. Uh, okay, yeah. I, at some point, I actually checked Mal, and people agreed with me. I was thinking, I was literally thinking episode four. Like this feels like episode four, and everyone in the Mal thread said this feels like episode five, so I was pretty close to the general consensus. Um, it's uh, it's like the director knows that exposition is lame, but he just decides to replace it with with nothing. It's like it's not like Penguin Drum or something where you learn the backstory, uh, and that fills you in, changes your perspective, and keeps you interested. It's just pure confusion. And everyone kind of casually sorry, mentions past I can't past help events. you through this. I can't help you through the suffering. It's just, it's like... I know, I'm just reading my notes I, and I'm too I, drunk I, to I've filter been there, myself. Man. I've yeah. been there, man. <laughs> I've been there for sure. Where it's like, am I losing my mind watching this? <laughs> That's, it's once a season. There's one per season where I, I, I watch it and I'm like, I, this is it. Like, this is the show that broke me. Yeah. Um, where it's just something about the way it's presented. I don't know how they're still capable of doing it, really. I think it's just they have to put out so many, so many shows per season that inevitably one of them is going to be some kind of fucked up, like the Koto show, you know? Oh, K- Koto's almost next. That's after Fate. You get to watch Kono Ototomare too. I can't fucking wait. I can't wait to have my mind broken again. We, uh, yeah, we never, horrible totem we experience. never got to watching the last episode of the first season, so we'll just watch the first episode of the second season. Perfect. See where everyone's ended up. <laughs> the, the the college years of of Kono Oto Tomare. I'm ready. <laughs> uh um so uh just to finish this off. Uh the show does have some pretty sexy ass blonde girl girls. I don't know if there's more than one. Oh, and it turns out the one who gave him his like powers or whatever is Odin. It's just Odin. Um, and, um, his, the girls are the ones that have the powers, but he's the one who manifests them and to bring them about, he has to like do sex stuff. He has to like grope them basically. So to defeat this one demon in the first episode, the blonde girl, uh, takes her top off and, and, uh, does a, a guided breast grab, which is the tag on Gelbaru. If you want that, if you're interested in that, um, uh, so, um, it's like one good frame that I'm like, yeah, okay. But the rest of the show's trash. I don't know why it's an action show. Just make it a harem if you want that. There you go. You did it. I, I I'm proud of you. Did thank you. I made it through. Made it through. Hoo hoo. Um, Judy boys. Yes. Uh, is uh. This shit don't even have a Wikipedia, but it's a manga being adapted, adapted by Dean. And Dean! It's, Dean! And it's uh, it's one of those one girl shows. Uh-oh. There's one girl in it. And, um, you know, you start it off and pretty much immediately, they're pretty fucking shooty. Um, yeah. There's a, uh, there's an, uh, there's like 
Well, I mean, there's sort of a quick intro, and then there's a new girl. She has an eye patch. Um, and uh, th there's this very ganky Junibyo boy um, who calls her Pink. And I was trying to think of a Pink song to make a joke about. I couldn't think of any. I did not want to Google Pink songs. Um, <laughs> but I like his brand of Junibyo because he's like... He's basically got like a beanie hat or not a beanie. What's the name? Uh, like the, it might as well be like one of the spinny, you know, um, it's one of the dumbest looking fucking hats I've ever seen. It's yeah. almost like a chick, like a chicken kind of like their floppy thing. Yeah. They got going on. Uh, it's extra dumb. Like I can't even imagine. It's cool. Mm hmm. Yeah. So, um, we get all the different flavors of Chuni though. And that's good. Yeah, he's like, yeah, the main guy, he like, he's like wearing sh like short shorts and long socks. And he's this very like outgoing autistic type of Chuni. Um, so, and, and we find out that his like, his Chuni influence is he's a Sentai guy. He likes sent he likes Super Sentai. So that's what yes. he imagines himself as. And he's like wearing a short sleeve sweatshirt over a long sleeve shirt. Um, and uh, some of the animation is pretty good. Like there's some very short like staccato slapstick gags. Like him slapping the shit on her desk that I kind of liked. And um, I was expecting really chun really standard Chunibyo archetypes. Like we meet the guy with the glasses who can't control his arm or whatever. <laughs> um, and that's basically like... Um, Chunibyo, the show, yes, Chunibyo. Yes. Um, but then, like, Sentai guy, like, has this fucking stupid pencil box <laughs> that, like, breaks open and has stuff in it, which is pretty funny. Um, so, I thought all the Chunibyo jokes, Chuni jokes were, were going to have been covered, but it's some stuff in here is making me laugh. Um, and so, Eyepatch Girl goes to the, the Hero Boo, the Hero Club, and uh, we meet everyone and they introduce their shit so there's sentai guy there's the gendo glasses guy who has powers he can't control or whatever wears gloves um and there's an angsty bad boy who's always uh ing and everything and uh one of them kind of seems normal and i think and then it turns out he's like a he's like a gotcha guy or like an idol yeah, fag yeah. or something i didn't think that was a kind of chunibyo that's more like otaku but i don't know I think it's because of his level of obsession with these girls, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, but he's not like, he doesn't have a delusion for himself. He's got to fall in somewhere, okay? Yeah, he's just like, like a 2D he, girls are the best kind of guy. I don't know. Yeah, he's just got to, look, they accept him for who he is. That's true. You know what I like is that, <laughs> I like the way that these guys play off of each other. I like the way that they kind of amp each other up. Mm -hmm. And uh, I enjoy that. I like that they, they kind of, like, they, they kind of spiral. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Where they where uh they 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 feed off of each other's energy, and uh, I think that's entertaining because you you like sometimes you'll be around people who who in life who just work each other up and and it just kind of keeps escalating in stupidity. Oh yeah, and, and that's uh ooh, we don't know anybody like that. Oh, uh, oh, oh. and uh, yeah, I, I I liked that element of it. Yeah, I I also like how how the MC could be cool because he's well like yeah also the twist dog. is that I think all their shit might be real I don't know because he's, he's at least very athletic well gee, yeah he jumps out of a second story window um but no it is I think it is real because like she has a uh, pre uh pre what's it called she predicts she sees when something's coming at her precognition yeah yeah um so or yeah, like Spidey senses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think it might be. Oh shit! I still have the image wrong. I think it might be real. Oh, did I forget to get pictures for this? All right, fine. You'll be looking at Val Love for this one. How did I forget this one? Hmm. Oh, here it is. All right, we skipped it. That's why. Um. So, uh, so she meets them, um, 
yeah, stuff keeps flying at her. Um, the only one thing I, I w- kind of wish the show didn't look like shit most of the time, even though some of the animation's kind of endearing, it's like, it's clearly pretty, uh, pretty low production value. There's a rubber chicken that's actually a flamingo. And, uh, they're all so autistic that they don't understand her deal. She wants to be normal but have friends, but they're all like, she wants friends, so she, they send a bunch of paper airplanes to all their classmates. I thought that signed, was a good sequence. Signed by her. I thought that was a good sequence. I really, then, I thought that was really cute, actually. It's it's a little funny. Um, I like then, the sincerity of it. I like I like how they're they're like they take this seriously, and are doing you know obviously a horrible job and the exact opposite of what she wants, but their intentions are pure. Yeah, they're not just they're not just like horrible autistic monsters. Uh, they're kind of just like fuck ups. Um. But uh, I called way ahead of time that the one throwing shit at her was was Popple, was Angsty Boy. Yes, of course. I mean, I don't think that's terribly. I I'm think not, it's pretty well, pretty yes, well forecast. I'm not. Uh, I'm, You're a genius. I'm not bragging. Yeah, because he was back. he was just like absent for half the episode. Um, so who knows why? But uh, yeah, I don't know about this one. You but, know what? Uh, they might need. They might need a villain. I think that's that's the thing is that. Uh, He's the only one that recognizes that without a villain, these guys have no purpose. And he's taking one for the team. <laughs> that's a really, that's a bold prediction. I don't know if it goes that deep, but maybe. I'm, I'm going to throw that three-pointer half the I don't give a fuck. <laughs> what do I have to lose? Yeah, we'll see if this has like an actual plot. I mean, we won't see. I'm not going to watch any more of this, but. I, I enjoyed the first episode just fine. It I, wasn't I, that uh... bad, yeah. Yeah, I, I the main girl's a little plain, unfortunately. I guess that's she's, the point. Yeah, she's the she's the Tsukomi. Yeah, but she could still have her own quirks, you know. Like there's still they can still have something to grab onto. She right has now, spidey sense. She she white red as fuck, but uh, yeah, a little bit. Uh, I I liked uh, the the leader red because of his just just like sheer ridiculous. Yeah, he's energy. so hyper into it. Um, I like how he also like just instigates a lot of shit uh also what the fuck's going on with this second story window there a soccer ball kicked up into a second story window yeah what the fuck what yeah. the fuck what you never that's, that's a, you're fucking that's kid shit that's a serious boot especially like if you're like trying to play an actual game like like chill the fuck out guy <laughs> like there's nothing there's no situation in which i mean there's you- another fucking chuny you know, powers uh, kid with crazy kicking ability, you know, infinite uh, possibilities. Hyper power kick. Just like, I mean, everyone in the really school has Chunibyo powers. powers. That's the real twist. There you go. I'm writing this shit as I go. All right, probably not. I don't think so. No. Um, the last show I watched um, was Mighty Masha Itamakun, which you watched mm-hmm. the opening of because I told you to just watch the opening. You'll get the gist. Sure did. Body, 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 body. I already forgot the tune, but they say body, Bobby a lot in that one. Let's fucking go, motherfucker. <laughs> fucking crank this shit to 11, motherfucker. This is uh, uh, Welcome to Demon School, Iruma-kun, manga, uh, Bandai Namco Pictures? Okay. I was so conflicted as to whether to watch this because I was I could not tell if it was a kid's show or not. And I still don't really know. But... um. Yeah, they play that opening, and um, it's about your McCoon. He's a four, He's fourteen. He works on a fishing vessel, like Deadly as Catch style, but he's like under the deck, and he's like managing all the dead fish, which they keep in cages for some reason, and they're like falling out because of the rough seas, and he has to, they're like falling on him. I don't fucking get it, but he gets kidnapped by a demon, and um. It's, uh, it, the reason, <laughs> ooh, bless you, whoa, <laughs> oh, 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 boy. boy, um, the reason he gets kidnapped is, it turns out because his, like, the reason he was working is because he has these deadbeat parents, and it turns out they sold him, uh, to a demon, which is just a, a, a comically dark, uh, plot point, but, um, it, he was, uh, kidnapped by this old man demon, who seems threatening at first, but is actually very silly and just really wants a grandson. 
because he's childless. Mm. Um, so he, Ira McCoon's trait is that he can't say no to anyone. So he accepts, and his uh, foster father uh, sends him to demon school, where he has to hide his humanity because demons eat people. Um, and so he's in the uh, he's in like the uh, opening ceremony, you know, in the auditorium. And uh, uh, Gramps, it turns out, is like the director of the school or something. He's like the dean. So he gets up and talks. And that's a surprise for Irma. And then they sing, or before that, they sing the school song, which is all about eating humans, uh, which is kind of a good bit, which kind of freaks him out a little bit. Um, I think his, uh, his, his new dad put like a spell on him that makes him not smell like a human. So it's okay. But he's obviously very visually wimpy and small compared to everyone else who's a weird demon monster. Um, his cover. There is no cover. He's just a guy. Oh, he's no no cover for like, hey, you look and act like a human and have no natural whatsoever. Well, um, so what happens is, um, uh, as a surprise, he's told to get up and give a speech, which he's not prepared oh for. Oh, but do that. but his new dad has written something pre pre prepared for him. And he starts reading it, and everyone freaks the fuck out. It's a, it's in demon language, so it's nonsense. Uh, and it turns out that he read uh, an extremely dangerous spell that if he had like started on or fucked up, he would have exploded or died. <laughs> um, so everyone so everyone thinks he's like the fucking baddest motherfucker in the whole school now, which is this pretty is good, good bit. Yeah, this is good. I like yeah. this. Yeah. Um, I don't know if the spell works. I don't know if he can do magic if he's human. I don't know. Um, but uh, he asks, like, okay, what did the spell do? And they're like, oh, well, uh, uh, you won't trip for the entire day now. <laughs> you won't fall down. <laughs> so, nice. um, and I was hoping, like, okay, when's that going to come back? Um, so, after he gives that speech, the, like, the top dog of the school, the, the, uh, the, the coolest student whatever is mad at him for showing him up um so he they do it they have a duel and um Iruma dodges a bunch of fireballs um i was hoping they i was thinking they were going to use the tripping thing there for to have him dodge the fireballs but they didn't and instead um he uh he uses the tripping thing after that to uh to german suplex him to german suplex the other kid so there's your second German suplex this season. Nice. Um, the so, more the merrier. Uh, so now um, everyone is convinced that he's the fucking tough, toughest guy ever. And now the top dog is his slave. He pledges himself to him. Um, and that's the star. So it's not bad, actually. It's, uh, it's kind of funny. I don't know. Uh, I didn't grab a, a shot of the German suplex. Oh, well. Um, well, that's good. It's kind of fun, sense. kind of it's charming, charming show. Not unpleasant to watch. No. Is, yes. I've. <laughs> we have to end this. I. I only. I didn't drink that much, but I can't talk, so apparently I did. Yep. Yeah, look. Just look at the. Look at the Kono. Look at the. Look at the images. <laughs> what are you, t- <laughs> what are you I, talking I just, about? I, just, I sent you an image from from. Kono oh yeah, I've been hearing those. Oh yeah. Uh, um, I was I was gonna say that I think I tweeted this. They cut out the faces of the of the of the uh, Otos. It's worse now because it looks like they're tickling them. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like they're tickling them. <laughs> like, 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 tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, it does. <laughs> They, I can't escape. Oh, man. They're, all, they're all stacked up. Yeah, this ep- that episode's gonna fucking kill me. I'm not gonna be able to handle it because we they're really realized we far. realized everything after watching that first episode, and now that I'm aware of of the fucking subversive qualities of of Kono Oto Tomare. They're fucking possessed. That gr- <laughs> the girl has yaoi hands. You see how possessed they are? Like, yeah, they're they're, they're fucking captivated. The oh show's gonna be tw- the episode's gonna be twenty four minutes of them just playing the Oto, I mean, no dialogue. Ah, ah. Yeah, 
It'd be harsh noise. No rhythm to it. No melody. No harmony. Like, music, like I don't even think we got to hear them play the real music last time. Like we watched the first episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, okay, well, they should be pretty good by now. God, I I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Didn't they like? Well, I mean, no, they they had a concert in the first episode that we watched, and they didn't play any of the music. Yeah, they skipped over it. Remember that? Uh, this is gonna fucking kill me. This is gonna be the one. That's that gonna be a fucking fever dream. I might need to. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what to do for that one. You gotta really prepare yourself, ready yourself for this. Yeah, one. Jesus, I'm terrified. I have to fortify myself. Okay, God, this is two hours and ten minutes long. All right. Well, that's fall part one. We did it. We. Did it. I'm going to highlight all the ones we did so we don't redo them. Nope. No, I fucked it up. Hold on. Where's background? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, thank you for listening, every, everybody. This is just Rosario Vampire. What happens in Rosario Vampire? We should watch that. I thought that was a titty show. It is. Oh. Um, oh, that's good. Connor has seen all of Rosario Vampire. I don't think you uh, did. He watch the second season. I don't know. He watched that in high school. I wanted to do an episode of Rosario Vampire with Connor, but uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll get to that. Hey man, there's a lot of episodes left. This this show ain't ending anytime soon, baby. In spite of what people want. Oh, of our show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That make yeah. That's We're good. Like, People are like, stop, you can't do any better. And we're like, fuck you, Fuck we you, baby. We're going to keep uh, uh, this up. We're going to keep rocking in the free world. Yes. Um, okay. If there's no punchline, falls over. Um, please follow us on Twitter. At gang stalking, S T O C K I N G. Our phone number is. Give me a sec. Is this a year? Has it been a year? Oh, yeah. Year and a month. Actually, just over a year. Like 53 weeks. Sweet. Yeah. Happy anniversary, gang stalking. If you want to leave us a voicemail or a text message, you, uh, our phone number is 419 777 8625. It's 41977-STOCK, S-T-O-C-K. I'm at TimeCube Isekai on Twitter. I make great tweets. That's TimeCube, uh, I-S-E-K-A-I. Yes. Yes. I am, I am Shakira, but male. You are. You are Shakira, at, at, but male. At Shakira, but male. That's pretty self-explanatory. That was some joke for some reason we came up with, but it was came up with in Japan. So that's a... Whatever. Um, uh, any other? We have gangstalking.com. Yep. Again, S T O C K. Fortnite.sexy. Uh, which I did renew. It was more expensive this time. Yes. I did it anyways. Aw. Don't worry about it. Once, once all of my, my business money comes in. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you up. <laughs> Business money. I wasn't trying to. I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't uh, begging. You're good. Yeah. I. Uh, I. I'm, I was offering. Um. I. I, I, put, I made a tweet earlier that nobody fucking looked at. I saw it. I see oh, all okay. your tweet. I got notifications on. Don't worry. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um. T- 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 uh. Tell me, that's not a good idea for a show. Your idea for a show where single mom. And all the main character's friends want to fuck his mom. Yes. I have a... See, I saw that and I wasn't sure how to respond because I feel like it was just an outlet for you to express the fact that you know a guy with a hot mom and you've been lusting no. after her. No, it was more an outlet for me to be like, um, what's the taboo? Like, where can we go as far as like... There was, you, I mean, there was literally a mom not- show last season. Well, there was like the cuckoldry going on in uh, this season, you know, and and I'm like, was there? Oh, uh, what, what what could be worse? Well, it's like, you know, I, I'm I'm in love with your 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 friend. I'm in love with oh. your best friend. All right. And I'm thinking like, what would be worse than that? It's like, oh, I want to. I'm going to fuck your mom. <laughs> um, <laughs> and you know, and and then it's like you're the type of guy to where you want to help out your bros, 
and you see that they mean well and that your mom does need a a stable man in her life and you're yeah. like well you know what maybe i can help maybe i can be the cupid that brings my friend and my mom together you know yeah and he I keeps don't... trying to make them fuck i don't know if that would make me mad like i get is i'm uh, imagining Imagining a girl like I barely know getting fucked kind of makes me more upset than imagining like one of my good buds <laughs> piping down my mom. I don't know. Oh, you don't have to imagine it, G. <laughs> well, like one of my friends. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I, I don't believe it's, Ah, You're just fooling around. I'm having you You're on. You're a fucking goof. Dude. I'm having you on. Yeah. This is, um. Uh, we gotta end this. We gotta be done. Yes. Okay. Um. Yes. Thank you for tuning in, everyone. No one's watching anymore. Uh. We'll see you for part two. Um. Oh. Bye bye now. Bye. I'm a fat guy, I'm a, I'm a fat guy. I'm a fat guy, I'm a, I'm a fat guy. I'm a fat guy, I'm a, I'm a fat guy. I'm a fat, I'm a fat guy. I'm a fat guy, I'm a, I'm a fat guy. I'm a fat guy, I'm a, I'm a fat guy. I'm a fat guy, I'm a, I'm a fat guy. I'm a fat, I'm a fat, fat guy. When I see all my food, I'm in a happy mood. This better be good, or else I'm gonna sue. No, I'm not being rude. I I'm just want to see food. I'm a fat guy, I'm a, I'm a fat guy. I'm a fat guy, I'm a, I'm a fat guy. I'm a fat guy, I'm a, I'm a fat guy. I'm a fat, I'm a fat, fat guy. I sit around all day, nobody to obey. Say what I want to say, video games I play. I've got a large array of games I like to play. I always stuff my face, it's like I'm in a race. Hunger I can't erase, even when I stuff my face. I feel food's warm embrace, one thing I can't erase is I'm a fat guy, I'm a, I'm a fat guy, I'm a fat guy.